In this video, I wanna show you different ways that you can use your dirt bike rear brake to improve your riding. What's up, Rad family? I'm Dakota Freeman, and welcome to the Rad Adventure Dude channel. So when we're learning how to ride our dirt bikes and getting better at riding, we really need to learn different ways we can use our rear brake to improve our riding. So the way that we use our dirt bike rear brake is gonna be with our right foot. We'll use our right foot to tap our rear brake lever down, and that's gonna engage our rear brake. It's gonna be so important when we're wanting to become a better rider that we learn different ways to use our rear brake to actually improve our riding. A couple different things that we can do with our rear brake is gonna to be to either break the back end loose on our dirt bike or to be able to use our rear brake as we're going around a corner. So what do I mean by these different things? If we're coming into like a 180 corner that's really sharp, it's sometimes good to be able to use our rear brake to break the back end loose and actually slide the back end around this corner. The way that we do this is gonna be coming into the corner as normal. We're then, right when we get to the corner, gonna grab our clutch and stomp on our rear brake and actually use our handlebars to turn as we're doing this. Once we go into this turn sliding like this, you can then feel the front end of the dirt bike actually wanna turn much faster. This is gonna be important because if you're coming into a sharp 180 corner, you'll be able to come in, lock on your rear brake like this, and slide the rear end around. By the time that it slides around, you're then gonna to wanna to release your rear brake, release the clutch, and get back on the throttle. You can then continue the slide with the throttle, if you have proper throttle control, and actually do a power slide coming out of this corner, giving you the fastest exit out of the corner. Sliding our back end around sometimes can be a good thing and sometimes won't be, but whenever we're using it in a situation where we're coming into the corner and able to stomp on our rear brake to get our front end pointed where we wanna go to where we can accelerate sooner, it's gonna be huge to actually getting around these sharp corners much faster. Other ways we can use our rear brake is if we're coming into a corner that's a left-hand corner, you actually have the entire corner to use your rear brake around the corner. So this is gonna be a big thing whenever we're learning how to use our rear brake because it's gonna depend on which way the corner goes on how we can approach the corner using our rear brake. So if it's a left-handed corner, we can actually have the rear brake as we're getting all the way around the corner. And on our right-hand turns, we're gonna have to learn how to actually use the rear brake coming into the corner. And then we're actually gonna have to release the rear brake as we come into the corner because we're gonna have our inside foot out in front of us or on the pegs. So learning how to go through a left-handed or a right-handed corner using the rear brake in different ways is gonna be important to our riding and it's gonna be different for every corner, every turn, no matter what is going on in the situation. We have to learn how to use our rear brake to approach the corner and know that when we get into the corner, what we're gonna to have to do with our rear brake as well. Even if we're not using our rear brake to slide into this corner and we just wanna use it to slow the bike down, then we wanna make sure that we focus on getting our weight over our rear tire. This way it gives our rear brake more traction to actually grab the ground as we put more weight on this tire. So then as we're coming into the corner, our back end's not just kind of fishtailing and sliding around, but it's actually having good traction to slow the bike down in the fastest way possible. As you're doing this, you're gonna get comfortable and you're gonna wanna be using your front brake to help slow the bike down as well as your gear shifter to shift down in the gears to help use all three of these controls to really slow the bike down the fastest way possible. But in this video, we're talking about the rear brake specifically. And as you get more comfortable with this, you're gonna use all three of these controls to bring the bike to the stop the fastest way possible. So getting comfortable with using your rear brake on entry to corners and being able to use your rear brake throughout the corner is gonna be huge to apply to your riding. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. So now that we've covered our cornering with our rear brake and how we can use it to affect the bike in different ways, how can we use the rear brake whenever we're actually trying to hit a jump and we're in midair? When we're in midair on a dirt bike, everything that we did coming off the face of the jump is gonna be continued throughout the entire flight that we're in. If we come off the jump and our front wheel is too high, it's gonna continue getting higher as we continue to fly on our dirt bike. Same applies for if our front wheel is too low. 
as we come off the jump, it's gonna continue dropping. So things that we can do with our rear brake when this happens is if we come off the jump and our front wheel's too high and we need the front wheel to go down, we can actually use our rear brake to fix this. Using our rear brake like this, we're gonna have to use our clutch as well. So if you come off the jump and your front end's too high, you're gonna wanna pull in the clutch and actually tap the rear brake down. As you pull in the clutch and tap your rear brake when this happens, you're gonna feel the front end wanna drop. If it drops too far, you can actually let the clutch out and then use the throttle to accelerate and this will pick the front end back up. So getting comfortable with this in midair is gonna be important if we come off the jump in the incorrect way. This way we have a couple different things that we can do to actually fix how we're going through the air when we're learning how to ride. Even if we're not new to jumping and we've been jumping for a long time, we often come off the jump in the incorrect way and using our rider body position and our controls is gonna be huge to actually be able to fix this once we're already in the air. Just make sure whenever you're doing this that you use the clutch when you tap the rear brake because if you don't have the clutch pulled in then you will actually stall the dirt bike in midair. And you really don't wanna stall in midair because then when you land on your dirt bike, it's gonna have a ton of force behind the rear wheel and it's really gonna make it for a hard landing when you're landing on your dirt bike. So make sure that if you do have this happen and your front end's too high and you wanna tap your rear brake to bring it back down that you always pull your clutch in before you do that. So as you can see, our rear brake has so many different scenarios that we can use it for to actually control the dirt bike in different ways. We can use our rear brake to slide the back end around, around a corner. We can use the rear brake to actually gain traction and to come into a corner just slowing the bike down. We can also use our rear brake if we're in the air and we need to level it out in midair. So continue practicing using your rear brake and learning these other ways that we can use our rear brake to actually become a better dirt bike rider. Rad family, I'm so proud of you for putting this time in and learning how to become the best rider you can possibly be. If you're still looking for dirt bike riding tips, I'm always here. I've made a full dirt bike riding course over on my website that's gonna take you from being a complete beginner and walk you to be an advanced rider mastering the tracks and trails. Make sure you hit the subscribe button that's right here and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. After that, you can watch my next video right here. So stay rad and I'll see you over there.